Heat by 12. LeBron, nice pass for Chalmers, lays it into Anthony. He's fouled by Armstrong. And Bill Kennedy is going to call a flagrant two and kick Hilton Armstrong out of the game. I don't know how much contact there was, but the reaction on the floor, I believe, was more than it seemed. I think well, that was very similar to the, 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 the Elton Brand. Yep. Yeah. It, it, what it was was Anthony was in the awkward position. Both feet were off the floor, so the contact had his feet end up going above his body. Bill Kennedy instantly called yeah. a flagrant now, two. They get a chance to review this to see if they want to change it to a flagrant one. And again, both feet off the floor, and you can see how quickly Armstrong tried to react to nullify the damage. Then he gets actually pushed by Jawan from yeah, behind. That, now that should have been a technical foul on Howard. That was a nice pass by Chalmers. And again, it goes back to the same thing we said about Brand. I mean, Brand's not a dirty player. He saw that reacted. It was just unfortunate that JaVale, and in this case, Joel Anthony was in an awkward position, so that kind of contact is dangerous. Looking at it again, uh, I'm going to amend what I said. I thought it was a lot of contact, probably as much as, as warranted for the foul. Watching it three times on replay, he mm. hit him pretty good and very deliberately. Well, he, what he, was, he was trying to push him away from the basket, send him to the line. But again, it's the danger that's involved. The player's getting hurt. We're not sure if that is the cause of JaVale's back injury. We're wondering if that's the case because he hit the floor awfully yeah, hard well, in that I, play. I, I believe it is. He, since then, even though he played against Orlando, in the meantime, they're reviewing this because, as you said, you can review a flagrant two. To see if you want to downgrade it. And this is what they'll see. And again, the other fact is he's not put, making a play on the ball. But, you know, he went over to help him up, yes, even though yeah, he pushed he reacted, him down. That, I and, don't think that really no, is going to give you Well, well the leverage. point I'm going to make is that Jawan pushed him in the back deliberately right here. And yeah. that, that should have been a technical well, on Howard. Unfortunately, they can't look look at this and now say, well, we want to call a, foul, a technical foul on Jawan. Right. They can't do that. Can't do that. You're reviewing only whether it's a flagrant two or not. Now, keep in mind that a flagrant penalty two interpreted by the officials to be unnecessary and excessive, and it differs from a flagrant one, which is deemed simply unnecessary. I've talked about this in the past. I believe they should amend that to, to be labeled unnecessary and malicious or unnecessary and intentional because most unnecessary fouls are also excessive. But you know what? I, I like the term dangerous. Yeah, I like that too. Because, you know, again, it doesn't necessarily have to be malicious. But if it's dangerous, and even though you react, you're instinctively reacting, if it's a danger to somebody that could really do harm, you have to take that into consideration. Well, I, I would agree with you, but I think you cover both bases if you say malicious, because malicious means that he did it with malice. He did it with intent. And that generally results in a dangerous situation. A lot of times you can foul a guy excessively, and as you pointed out many times, it looks worse than it is yeah. when a guy goes flying into the stanchion. Oh, they're actually looking at this. Long time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Again, Bill Kennedy made the initial call, which was a flagrant penalty two, and that results in automatic ejection. Well, it was, I don't remember the official that made the call in the um, Philadelphia game, but it was the same thing. Immediately, he signaled for the ejection and watch watch over the right and see right there he said you're out yeah he called or it two. instantly yeah called it instantly and that of course is two free throws and the ball and the ejection but uh, one of the rules in the NBA is that a flagrant two not a flagrant one but a flagrant two can be reviewed to make sure that they get this right on the court because because that calls for a player leaving the game. Correct. And, and that can, and of course, in, in the Wizards situation, you know, JaVale's, we don't know how tender that back is. He's played well so far, but with E out, 
uh, you know, Washington is limited with their big men. And what's happened in the past is that when this play was not reviewable, they'd call it, and then it would go to the league office, and they would take a look at it and decide whether or not to change yeah. it or keep it a penalty two, rescind it. Any number of things could happen. This this keeps that from happening. This allows the officials to make the decision on the court. And they have decided to keep it a flagrant penalty two. Hilton Armstrong has been ejected from the game. Miami will get two free throws and the ball back. And as you said, Phil, Washington's big men limited. Hilton Armstrong got the start in tonight's game. JaVale McGee coming off the bench because of the back spasms. Hilton Armstrong as a result of a flagrant foul penalty two. And what we are hearing is that Jawan Howard the foul has been called on the Heat's Jawan Howard. And with that technical foul, he has been ejected from the game. Howard has also been ejected from the game. Well, I stand corrected then. But again, in reviewing, I guess in any kind of uh, commotion disruption that goes on once you review if you see somebody throwing a punch 